Hello everybody and welcome back to Startup Company and today, well, we have some more people to employ and uh, a little bit of rearranging of the office to do to try and fit everybody in. I want to try and keep the break room and the boardroom if I can and still fit everyone in. But that, you know, I think that their place is a nice place at the moment. So, first thing I'm actually going to do is make this into one big developer room. And to do that, I need to pick up these and delete them. Try not to delete anybody important on the way. And that cross section there will need to be deleted and turned into a T section. Now then, I think this long office is fine being a long office, but I think it's, I'm going to rearrange it so the sofas are in a slightly different place and I can fit a couple more desks in. I might even have two rows of desks. Not sure about that one at the moment. This one can definitely fit more people in. That could definitely fit at least six. And that, that one's got six at the moment and I don't think it could probably really fit many more. Um... Yeah. Right, number one. I'm actually going to see if I can move that to the boardroom. I think the boardroom is a good place to have a thing like that. In fact, if I move the board table over a bit, more to this side, I can move that to the head of the boardroom table. Is that quite lined up? Can't tell. Won't pick up now. Oh yeah, there we are. Oh yeah, that's as lined up as it's going to get. Can be hard to see in an isometric view sometimes. Okay, so next I need to put that little T-section in. Uh, I said T-section. There we are. And I'm going to move a few of these guys around. Um, what I think I want... The managers all kind of have an office and like the lead developers all kind of have an office. So we'll move you guys up a little bit, shift you up. I'm actually going to change them to being turned around this way. Trying to keep as many of the features in the office as I can and not cram them in too tight. Um, and let them feel good about where they work, but they are taking a lot of space up. There, that's better. I could have another six desks in there, you see. Uh, this one, I'm actually now going to move these guys in here. Because these guys all do their own little jobs, you see. I want the developers all kind of in one room. Um, managers. Managers all in here. Back end, front end, modules. They're lead developers. So they're going in there. That's all managers at the moment. You can have all the managers in one big office. And like I said, I don't actually think I'm going to need any more managers than the managers I have at the moment. This is a good office uh, layout, isn't it? This is fantastic. Look at me go. I need to change this about a bit. Have them all like facing each other. I like them facing each other so they can talk. Looks a bit neater as well. There we are, so that's six managers in an office there. We have one extra manager. We'll have to go somewhere else. We can go there. So, 
thing is, I don't think I need as many managers as I've got because not all of them are managing that many employees, but I'll see once I've got a full office how many I need, whether six is enough. So now I just have marketing in here. I might expand marketing. Quite aggressively, actually. So this is sales and marketing. And at the moment, they are only four, only three of them, sorry, in there. This office is all research, lead development, one random manager. And this is just basic development. So we've got three kind of big areas there. So I'm going to want probably another... Well, I wanted six... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I wanted one for every single one of those items. So we're going to put in another six desks. One. Oh, I should be holding shift. I'm putting extra desks in. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Once I move that plant out of the way. Six. Move the plant back there. So we've got 12 of them in there. This is getting a bit cramped. A bit more cramped than I really like, but I think it's... I think 12 in one room is not too bad. Then we've got a division. We've got six in that room. And this room also has 12. Now, I don't know whether I like the idea of the desks all in a line better. That looks kind of cluttered, doesn't it? I could move it so that I've got a wall coming across here and I get rid of that wall and I have a long room there and a long break room. That might be quite nice, actually. It would definitely fit in with the rest of the office a bit better. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. It's going to take a bit of rearranging, but never mind. Okay, so... First things first, I'm going to put all of the break room stuff kind of in this area. I'm going to put these guys' desks in here, like so. That's another break room thing. Then I need to change that back into a four-way divider so much changing of the office but it needs to be done otherwise I can't get more employees in that needs to be turned into a, uh, some other divider I'm not sure what yet so we'll just put these in get off my hot bar Oh yeah, right. So I can now move these guys into here. Do you know what? I could actually put that last manager kind of in here somewhere. almost tempted to fire them but I, I probably will need like extra managers by the time I've finished with all this anyway so right we're gonna delete all of these so delete 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 oh that's wrong now I just put literally just put that in I need to not put dividers in until I've actually decided what I want to do. So that needs to be delete, delete, delete. Delete, delete, delete. I don't know why, it just seems to look better when things are in a row this way. And I know it's completely a perspective thing. So I can fit another two desks in. So they've got all got a big long line of desks in there, but that looks really 
He's really cramped. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. I think I need to move this around a bit. So it doesn't matter if the break room's a little bit of a, a squished office area, but this this is bad. This is horrible for them. So let's move that up there. Move that up there. Move this into here. So that would be the divider. The break room would be that that big and that long. Oh, it's annoying. And there would be a tiny little office down there. So how many have we got now? So we've got 12, 24. Plus another six makes 31, two, three, four, 34. Do you know what? I'm going to get all of the desks I need in here. So, 35. Yeah, just keep going until I can't put any more in. And then we're going to rearrange them all. I want this office as it's going to be at full capacity of 50. I should probably be pressing shift right now. This is just a case of putting a desk anywhere I can. That might be quite nice, having like a curved round section. At this point I'm just putting them anywhere and I will rearrange them in a minute. Right, I think that's all of them. Yeah, so that's my 50 workstations that I'm going to need to get into this office. Hmm. That's quite a challenge, isn't it? Uh, it's going to be a, a lot of rearranging to do. we're good there right so I can start employing more people so the first thing I want to do is employ another six developers this could be quite scary for my finances though so developers I would like six of you big employment drive ah 
man, this is the first time in the whole episode. And we have been going for almost half an hour. <laughs> that I've actually started. Started the game up. But I did say I was going to do a massive office re assignment and recruitment drive this episode so it's kind of kind of expected i'm probably just gonna hire everybody right now so you two are my first hires and i did have some people um selected we're gonna be there's going to be so many people. So, Alberta, your new name is Meta Celine. And you can work on something. I'll sort it out in a minute what everyone's working on. Lawrence Garcia, you are now Jack Culp. Just making sure I've got the names right. This is everybody that commented on my last video that wanted a name, you see. Jack Hulk will do some network components. Oh, jump to the start of the day. We could really do with a contract, I would say. Oh, we nearly, we nearly lost that one. Wow. I want you on auto repeat, I think. Okay, the pump is on auto repeat. Yay! Okay, let's have a look at. Oh, we got tier 12. Yay! I don't know what tier 12 does. Okay, so we've got another one, two, three, four, five of you. And I will choose the best. Four. Right, cool. So, Ali Matthews. Mm. You are going to be Sky Tower. With a lowercase k. See, so, yeah, I've been given a pre-release of... Um, Cook Serve Delicious 2 to play, and I'm so scared of playing it because I can't type to save my life. Now I'm going to need managers for these guys in a minute, so we'll sort that out. The, the managers are... Let's upgrade you. They can just be upgraded and they can take on like another few people each. Right, we'll upgrade you. So now when I tell you to do stuff, you'll carry on doing it. Where did they auto repeat? There used to be a button that was auto repeat. Ah, there it is. Okay, so they're on auto repeat. That's really good. Why don't you do some encryption components for a bit? I'm, I'm going to work towards eventually having all of the developers trained in everything so that if, if someone goes on holiday, someone else can just take over. So go one, two, three, four, five. So we've got Calvin Robinson, who shall be Derek A. We've got... Madge Douglas, who shall be Mini Ninja. And we have Floyd Logan, who shall be... I'll just see if anybody else has replied. King of England. Yeah, so uh, you could be doing encryption keys as well, maybe. 
Right, let's see. We now have three people. Andrew Otters apparently can manage eight people at once. Wow. Andrew Otters. Aha, uh -huh. Kristen is managing... Six out of eight managers. Okay, that's fine. So if I had eight people per manager and we've got 50 people in the office minus the managers, eight, 16, 24. Probably do actually need almost as many managers as I've got. I might even need a couple more. We'll see. They seem okay at the moment because, uh, so five, Five times eight is 40. So probably when we have everybody in, we might need one more manager. Because six times eight is 48. And that then means that if you don't then include the managers, there's, there's going to be room to spare. Whereas I think 40, if you don't include the managers, then you've got not enough. So probably going to need one more manager. That's fine. We've got two desks for managers anyway. I don't think we will need a second HR manager. I think we'll be all right for that. So we'll, there'll be someone else that will just have to sit in with the dev developers. Okay, hey, we need to train you to do some stuff. Do some of that. Um, I train you to do some stuff. You can do some of that. Lots of network and encryption components being done at the moment. I'll have to change that later, but at the moment I just want to get everyone working on something. That is the main thing. Okay, my next job, I think, um, it's going to be, I'm actually going to change the... researchers and graphic designers and things around a little bit. Um, so that they I might actually tell them all to leave their desks. I can. If not, I'll have to move the desks around. Might just be easier to move the desk around, but I want all the lead developers sitting together. So I'm going to move you into there. Which means I can move you into there. Move you over there. This is like a little game of, you know, remember those little sliding puzzles that you had when you were a kid? I don't know if they do them anymore, but you sort of slide the tiles around. This is what, this reminds me of that. Okay, so we've got research and DevOps desks over here, and that's fine by me. All the lead developers. I might get two more lead developers. Um, I might get more graphics people. So what have I got down here? I've got like... One researcher and one manager, that's random. Oh, actually, no. What needs to happen there, then, is the manager needs to come up here. We're getting this sorted now. And then there'll be one more manager sat there. Oh, we probably have enough managers, actually. Yeah, we've got enough, I think. Oops. A researcher needs to actually go in with all the other researchers, which is there. And then we've basically got marketing and sales in here. I'll probably have a ton of marketers in there. Or I might move some of the graphics people in here with them and have loads of lead developers. It depends on how I feel things are going, what I feel I need, what I feel I'm short on. I definitely needed those guys. They were important. Okay, well, let's fast forward a little bit and let's just uh, see how the hype is going on all of our little bits and bobs. But that's a big change to the office, isn't it? Massive change. Uh, could do with 14% hype there. We could do with a good 20% hype over here. Could do with... Wow, almost 40% hype on that. Let's do something really big then, like web video functionality. 
Right, it's a little bit low on its hosting at the moment. Um, so let's put in a... I think it's making enough that we could afford $75 a day on a large virtual server for it. So let's do that. And then I want to add... What do I want to add? Some more upgrades. A uh, bit of a web landing bit. No, so it's about 15%. Which there really isn't anything. So we'll go for a 10% upgrade. Spy on your friends. How's that doing? Pretty great, as always. I'm just going to put a little bit of marketing on it. For a few hours and then the hype can come down and I'll put another upgrade in. Doing great though. So we're now getting 3,000, 10,000, that's just hit 10,000 a day. And we're nearly up to a quarter of a million users, which is amazing. Spy on your friends is 122,000 users a day. Curvy Talks is just ticking along there, bless it. Eye in the Sky is doing okay. We'll look at some new version releases because that's on Cute Framework 2 at the moment. Missing requirements. What are you trying to make at the moment? Backend modules. We have lots of people working on backend components and network components for you, so you should be fine. But maybe we could make some video playback modules. Let's have some, some of everything in stock. Do we have any lead developers who can do everything? Yes, we do. Because I'm eventually going to probably want things like localization modules and stuff like that. So let's just train you in all of that. I've spent so much money the last couple of episodes. Oh my goodness me. Good job I make quite a lot. So make me some of those. Oh, I need 1LN modules or something. Okay. What are they? Where do I even get them? It's like a world. Okay. Who does something that looks like a world? You guys do. Okay. I need somebody who's trained that can do that. Who's my expert? Do I have an expert? Um... Don't know. Ideally, I'd like them all to be experts eventually. That might cost a lot of money, so I'm going to make Ian Seckington to be an expert. I don't know if... And then we'll make some of those. Switch to those, please. And then we'll be able to start making the really cool lead development stuff. Down to 90% hype on that. So we'll just add some extra in. I'm doing too much on these and not enough on these. These, um, these take a lot of components compared to these ones that don't take so much. But all I can really do on these, I mean, that's one thing I would say is that you can't really do a lot to make it go faster. Well, actually, I don't know. I think it might just be that I don't understand how to make it go faster. Yeah, 99%. And I think that that's it for the episode. Uh, we've done lots and lots and lots of rearranging of the office. We have 50 desks in the office. We do have... Oh, do something different then. Okay, so we, we do have empty desks at the moment. We're going to work out who and what we want to put in them. We've got loads and loads and loads of new developers who have all been named from the comments. I have now run out of people to name uh, these new people. We have tons and tons and tons of empty desks, which means there's going to be tons and tons and tons of extra employees. So anyone wants a name, please, again, let me know in the comments. There is another opportunity for you to get named. If you've already been named, please don't ask again because uh, I may accidentally name you twice. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. Like how quickly everything's happening, how well these guys, these, these products that I've got are doing. 
um, I might start, well I've got one of each now, so I might make new products that are variations. I might try and make another um, different kind of shop for example, and I might try and do different things, um, put different components in and see how they work and see if that works better, because curvy togs didn't work very well, I don't feel. And see if I can find a better way to uh, to start that off. I mean, I might just do some different upgrades and, and things like that, but I might I might try and do a couple at once and compare them and see how different things do a bit of for sciencing basically. See how different things make, how they compare, how much um, putting different modules in is going to give me more money on one than the other. How they grow, all that sort of thing. So we'll do some for sciencing next episode, but also probably try and balance things out with sales and marketing and with all these um, sort of researchers. I mean, to be honest with you, the researchers, I know I'm rambling a bit now, but the researchers really don't have much left to research. They've got to research Cute Framework 1, Nitrous Off Platform 2008, and a couple of platforms here. They're halfway through um, Nitrous Off 2016. Once they finish with that, I'll probably make them do 2012 and one do 2012 and the others do the others, uh, Cute Framework 1 and 2008. However, I've done pretty much all of these, they've just got the IMAP service to finish off. Another couple of episodes, I probably won't need them anymore, they'll have researched everything there is to research. But yeah, if you also, one thing I didn't do either is look at where I was compared to everybody else. So now we're at nearly a quarter of a million users on Dreamstream. I expect my new friends to overtake Dreamstream, by the way. I don't, I've got a feeling it's just better set up. Oh, actually, there's all sorts of stuff. There's no unlocks at tier 12. I'm just getting tiers and, and nothing. We still don't have a full uh, retirement plan and we still don't have paid transportation. But pretty much every benefit I've got turned on. Or well, the maximum building. But what I wanted to show you, sorry, was uh, where we were in comparison to the other companies. I always forget where that is. Competitors, here we are. So, we've got these. These are all mine, the blue ones. Um, so, at the moment, we don't have very much of the market share at all. I'm not sure why, because there's like different users and they have like a bigger or smaller amount of market share. I don't know if that's because, oh, it's their stock price. Okay. What? I can buy stock in other companies? What? Did not know this. Um, yeah, okay. So next episode, I will be buying stock in other companies. And we will be using that to hopefully make some money. So we'll be doing some stock trading. I didn't even realise that was part of the game. That's crazy. So we've done all these things with products. And, and I thought I'd done everything there was to do. And I've suddenly found another thing that I can do to make some money. So yeah, we'll be doing some of that next time. So anyway, that's it for me for today because I've been rambling on for ages trying to end this video. Uh, so I hope you liked it. If you did, leave me a like below. And if you'd like to see more of me doing some stock trading, ooh, uh, then please do subscribe to the channel and let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.